Coming from your point of view, I guess it was nice to finally get back on the pitch. Yeah, unbelievable. Uh, great feeling to finally get back out. It was obviously a long time, but um, no, absolutely delighted, yeah. Yeah, extra time. Did that uh, help or hinder you, do you think, uh, and at the end of the game? Were you feeling it? <laughs> no, there wasn't feeling that, and to be fair, a bit of both, obviously. Um, would have been nice to get the win, obviously, and just have a little cameo, but um, no, I was happy to get the minutes under the belt then again, you know, so... Um, just looking forward to Saturday now. Yeah, was it la your last time on the pitch prior to this was the Manchester United game, is that right? Yeah, that's right, yeah, it was the last game. Obviously then a couple of operations and stuff since then, a couple of obviously little niggles and stuff, so yeah, it was nice to finally get back out there. Mm -hmm. And what's it like watching? I mean, no player likes to be a spectator, but from your point of view, what did you find the most spe uh, the most frustrating? Yeah, just obviously the, the relegation last year and not being able to help, and obviously the bad start this year, but um. I think it's sorry a lot more positive now, and I think um, we're moving in the right direction. Definitely under the, yeah. under the gaffer and that. So um, yeah, looking forward to the end of the season. Yeah, and what have your teammates been? Have they been giving you a bit of stick because you've been out so long? Yeah, yeah, the usual stuff. You know, there was um, obviously a lot of downs and stuff where you you got a bit of sympathy, and then as you're getting closer to return, there's a bit more banter and a bit more liveliness about. But yeah, they've been good. To be fair, they've been brilliant. So. Delighted. Yeah, and looking ahead now, I mean, what, do you feel that you just want to up it step by step in terms of your game time? Yeah, definitely. I think um, obviously I just need to get um, as many minutes under the belt as I can. You know, even the other night, obviously the sharpness and the fitness isn't there, and just the general awareness and being back on a pitch. You know, obviously with not having a, a friendly or anything in between. But um, yeah, just definitely getting as many minutes as I can. Um, Obviously, just getting back used to it and accustomed to match match play, really. Yeah, obviously not in the position in the league table where you want to be, but uh, looking at it, a lot of games to go, so you feel you can still play a key role? Yeah, I'd like to think so. You know, Obviously, fitness is the main thing, really. I need to get as many training sessions and minutes under my belt as I can, and then obviously I'll start to reap the benefits from that, you know, so... Yeah, just that's it really, yeah. Yeah, and Crawley are next up. I guess you don't really care who it is though, do you? You just want to get out there? No, not at all. <laughs> no, don't care who it is. But as I said, it's a, it's a winnable game at home and, and it's a big game for us. As I said, we've been taking um, footsteps in the right direction, so hopefully we can build on that and get the three points. Yeah, and with players, not just yourself, but you've got Gillick coming back as well and, and more experienced players, it can only be a good thing moving forward. Yeah, a mass, massive player for us, Gilly. You know, um, obviously he's, he's had a really tough year as well, but... Um, he could definitely be a player that could help us in the coming months. Yeah, did you help each other through your injuries? Yeah, definitely. I think obviously, um, both well, since the United game and that, and we've both sort of went through the same thing, obviously in different circumstances, but we've helped each other throughout and obviously build a, a closer bond than, than normal. Obviously, we're going through everything together. So, yeah, looking forward to both being on the pitch at the same time. Yeah, it was two injuries for you, wasn't it? Because you were close back from your hip injury and then another injury setback. So, yeah. It must have been. Equally, or even more frustrating on that. Yeah, definitely. I've, I've had, um, obviously, with Gilly's injuries, had sort of like the surge, and then he's had to wait a whole year. It was really, really serious. So, delighted to see him back. But um, my injuries were sort of different. Like, we've had the first operation after the United game in January. And after a couple of months rehab, we sort of realised that it was still um, still a problem there. So, we sort of went went to a few places, to be fair to Mike, when he brought me everywhere. You know, he was fantastic. So, um, just like to thank him for that, but um, yeah, we've had to do a couple of things, and obviously then had the groin operation, and then with the massive infection, I got that that sent me back a couple of months on its own itself, and then sort of came back, and it was just sort of groin strain after groin strain from there. So yeah, generally had to go and build it all up. So thankfully it's it's done now, you know, it's behind me. Yeah, did you ever think you know, it was never going to end? I guess when you're in that sort of a, a long time off, you always think it's not going to end. Yeah, there was a stage, to be fair, where where I uh, actually did think that I was, I was struggling quite a bit, you know what I mean, mentally and that. And to be fair to Neil Gaffer and that, I was at the last stage. He was fantastic for me and obviously Mike as well and all the staff here. So obviously I'd like to thank them for that because there was a time where I was, I was getting really, really worried like when I not being able to get back out on the pitch, but as I said, thankfully it's all behind me. Yeah, and what are you expecting from Crawley now? Um, yeah, it is what it is, isn't it? You know, they're, they're, um, they're a few, good few points above us, but towards the end of the season, if, if we can build points, and I'm sure the teams are thinking the same around us, so we start getting get a couple of back-to-back -back wins, you drag a few of them in, and, and Crawley could be a team that falls into that. So, But main thing for us is just uh, get the three points and just take it from there. We need to take one, one game at a time, then try, try and go on a run. Like. Yeah, well, good luck, and it's good to see you back on the pitch. Cheers, thank you. I see huge management changes in the past year. What's different now than perhaps 12 months ago? I think just reiterating what everyone's been saying, I, I think just the positivity around the place, you know. Um, it's um, 
it's just really nice to come into training and and just not be worried about what what's coming ahead. You know, you you're going into train, you're going in, into work and train and enjoy it. And I think like it's quite obvious we all want to do the same thing. We all want to get out of relegation. That's that's um that's been quite obvious. So I think it's just just building on how 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 we can get out of this relegation battle and stuff. You know what I mean? Which I think has been massive. Like and I guess it makes a huge difference just waking up in the morning and wanting to go to work rather than wanting it to be over. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's the same in all walks of life. You know what I mean? If you dread going in into your job, generally you're not looking forward to the day, but. I mean, waking up every day and just can't wait to get in and train and see what session it is. As I said, just around, just generally walking around the place, you know, all the boys, like they're pumped up, they're ready to go. Like, I think even the Markham game, I think we deserve more. The other night, you can argue that we could have won, obviously, with the pen on. I think it's them little things, the final margins, which obviously the gaffer's been talking about, that that will eventually, hopefully, take us out, out of this relegation battle, you know? Thank you. Boys. Darren Wayne has uh, praised both yours and Simon Gillett's influence away from the pitch while you haven't been able to play. What can you do to help the players along in what's been a difficult time for the club? I think obviously just being a bit, a bit more experienced, just you can only really talk to them, just pass on your experience. You know, obviously Gillett would even have more experience from me. But um, when you're when you're a long term injury, like you've got to sort of like look at ways like to, to try and help the lads. You know what I mean? Because you, you can't help, all you want to do is help them on the pitch, and when you can't do that, like you just so I want to give them advice in any way possible. So we just sort of tried to do that, and then and then really just tried to help them in any way we can. And you spoke about Mike Mitchke briefly. Now, how helpful has he been in the last twelve months to you? Yeah, he's been absolutely brilliant. Like he's he's, he's been amazing. To be fair, like I can't thank him enough. Like um, obviously, even mentally more than anything. You know, I mean, like he's um, he's he's really really helped me. Like because I, I was struggling at stages, you know, as I said, my injury was sort of different to so so. I, had the focus of just knowing he, he was he was really long term, but mine was a lot more sort of like downs as in like we thought I might be back in April, we thought I might be back in May, June, July, and it just sort of went on. So mentally it was really really tough, and and you know he's been fantastic, and he's done everything he could to get me back, and he's done that now. So I'm delighted for him as much as I am for myself, to be honest. Yeah, I guess that's half the battle, isn't it? Keeping your morale up when you know you are having setback after setback. Yeah, definitely. Like uh, to be fair, like mentally it was. It was it was um, the worst thing for me personally, like I, um, my first long term injury. But the worst thing about it was definitely the mental side of it, and obviously trying to come back and just failing time and time again. And obviously, then the worry that, like, w will I actually get back now? You know what I mean? So no, it's nice to have it all behind me, and I can't thank him enough, to be fair.